So basically, innovative technology, it's a, it's a class that's unique, uh, unlike most other classes. Innovative tech is a class where like, it's, it's hands-on, um, you're always doing something, it's, it's different like uh, where the other classes were. Your standard class, you sit down, uh, you listen to the teacher, you do your work, then the teacher closes the activity. In innovative technology, it's, you have a project, you're building a robot for about two and a half semesters, and you're in, in between that while you're being the robot, you had to configure it. And then while you're configuring it, you had to create the program to make that ro uh, robot run. So there's a lot of things always going on in innovative tech. Twenty seconds left. Uh, Twenty seconds left. We're going to check on the end. Twenty seconds left. On January thirtieth, we had our VEX competition out in uh, out in Chandler, and uh, surprisingly, uh, we did very well. Our VEX teams, uh, both eight four seven A, eight four seven seven Alpha, and eight four seven seven B. And um, a, a surprise us, they finished seventh place out of 28 teams. And then what was really exciting is that uh, our B team was selected uh, to participate with the number one seed. And they, uh, they went to the championship game and they lost, they came short, and that was exciting as far as how, you know, they were selected to go to the championship. If they won, they would have qualified for state. And that would have been amazing, but that was it. Was a great day. Um, our kids were our kids were on top of the game. I've never seen them handle pressure situations, and it was exciting. We do have another competition coming up soon. This year's competition, so not necessarily a lot different. More just technical with gears and everything else. It's just the since last year we didn't really do much work with gears, we did more just of having the robot lift up what we needed. This year we needed to pick up something and throw it. So I think this year is more, how do you say, a bit more difficult, but just watching from this year's competition, looking at other people's robots, it kind of seems easy. Now it's just a matter of building. <laughs> Hopefully this time, this is the second the upcoming competition, it's a lot easier, or a robot is actually working better. And don't forget. <laughs> and yeah, we do have another competition coming up soon. It's, it's we're gonna have both our robots. It's just we need to fix both our flywheel and our our lift that that's gonna pick up the ball. And then that that's what I'm working on right now. And also I'm fixing up the gear ratio for it. <laughs>